All right, hi AMAS, I just want to thank you for joining me and, and look, watching this video. And today I want to share with you um, why and how I create student and parent help videos. Uh, what's the first thing when you need help with something that you do? Uh, I know one of my things is I go online and I look for a help video. It's much easier to see it than it is just to have somebody try to explain it to me. So I surveyed fourth grade this morning and I asked them, how many of you need a video review lesson for the first three lessons of our first unit? And the hands went up and there were three out of the 20 students that were there today. Then I asked them the big question, the important one, how many of your parents need it? And 17 hands went up. <laughs> Why do I create these videos now? It's as much for my parents as it is for the students and an opportunity for them to review. Um, creating the video itself is not that difficult, really. This program, it's all writing on the screen. And our first video was a, really, it was a vocabulary lesson. Points, line segments, lines, and array. So I'm just going to, and how do we name array? Well, if this is points E and F, then I am going to label that E, F, and it will have a point on one end, an arrow on the other. Um, just a chance to review this is great for the students. Um, why should you do it for your students? One, uh, they thank you. They are grateful. Um, this is a quote from one of the students this morning. He said, a sometime I'm a, sometimes I'm afraid to ask questions in front of the class. He can go back and review this. Um, number three, um, talking about the videos, he said, they keep me from getting frustrated and discouraged about math. If I can do it, you can too. And stop recording so 